from his Letta Fun Connection just south of Albuquerque. We're in the title match of the scratch division of today's JBT event. We still have three bowlers left because we're bowling the double nerve wrecker format with the Tuholsky twist. Northwesterners will know what that's all about. There's three bowlers left. The bottom two scores this game will do a nerve wrecker, which is a one shot roll off to see who's eliminated. That'll leave two bowlers, and they'll immediately go into a best of three set of one ball roll offs to determine the champion for the day. So this is title match with an asterisk because there's a little overtime involved in the title match. Brandon Harmiel, yesterday's champion, was just eliminated in fourth place. That leaves 11-time champ Harley Swigert, who was the top seed heading into the Nerve Racker rounds, in good shape right now with three in a row. It leaves Brad Harvey, who is closest he's ever been to a win in either division, was a second place in Las Cruces earlier this season. He's got three in a row before leaving that four pin. And Bree Vargas, who has been kicking butt in the girls' division for decades, it seems like, but also doesn't have a win in either regular division. And that big four is not going to help her cause. Oh, she's the one that had that three in a row. Or maybe it will help her cause because she has been in a nerve wracker every single round except one to get this far. Just about every player will have to go through a nerve wracker to get this far as Brad misses that four pin. Pretty high scoring lanes today. Plus 38 cut, that was Bree in the scratch division, so about a 208 average. And plus 66 cut in the handicap division. Way different numbers than yesterday when the scores were much lower. Harley's got the left side mostly to himself, and that can't hurt. He hasn't had to move a whole lot all day. Also fired a 300 game, the only of the day so far. I guess it'll be the only one of the day, because there ain't... Well, no, it could still happen in the girls' match. They're still, still so far. See if Harvey can recover from whiffing that four. A few unique obstacles here. You got to contend with those gates that are right at the gutter of the left and right side of every pair here. So you just kind of got to mentally put that out of your mind that if you're left at all, you're going to kick from the gate. And each lane is set back about three feet from the other pair of lanes. Oh no. Wow, and he almost whiffs it again. <laughs> Sorry about that, no confidence there. So you kind of got to look left, right, and behind you when it's your turn to bowl. Interesting setup set of it. Harley was flat out miserable yesterday and flat out brilliant today. He went and practiced last night and obviously that paid big time dividends. Since I think we figured out that he was 422 pins better between yesterday's five game qualifier and today's five game qualifier. That's amazing. And he is just mowing him down today. Whatever was wrong yesterday, his game looks great today. That puts him in the 230s right now. Bree can max out for 232. Brad can max out for 223. Brad uses a ton of ball speed and just cranks that sucker down there. When he hits them hard, they just scatter. Bree, who last game did something that I've only seen for the second time in my life. She stood a pin back up. It was completely knocked over. And it, oh, and it stood right back on his keister, and we have a JBT first. Bree has been doing nothing but making history for the last hour and a half, and this is our first ever televised 5 7 10. Wow. Now, the good thing for her is she doesn't really need to make it because she always has the nerve wracker in her back pocket. If she wanted to make it, the best way to do it is to take out a light ball and no thumb it to try and take the 5 7 out with the ball. She's not going to do that here. And it's the always disturbing situation where you leave the 7 10 after two shots. So that pretty much, well, it does eliminate Bree having any chance to win this match. So it's Bree is going to be in the nerve wracker, which is no problem at all for her because she's won every other one. Harley is going to be safe unless he can fall apart here and Brad's not going to have the chance to catch up. So it's going to be Brad and Bree in the roll off with Harley into the title overtime. And what Bree and Brad should both be doing now is using this as a little mini practice session to zone in. Bree had the lower total, so Brad is going to have the choice of what lane to start the roll off on and what bowling order. And, and I don't even I don't like at all that he just shot at that bucket because who cares? I would be doing nothing but strike balls, different line, maybe a little tweak. I mean, it's a waste of a shot right there. 
easy for me to yeah. say. I'm not in the middle of my first, you know, first or second ever career title match. If Brie leaves anything, she should not try and make it. I would not try and make this. I would try and tweak your strike line a little bit because right now, the only person that's going to beat Harley right now has the uh, last name Swigert on the back of his shirt. It's Harley versus Harley right now. And nobody listens to my advice, Bernadette. Who cares if you can make a 6'10 in a one-shot roll? Why would you bother doing that right now? Oh, kids these days, Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette was your Ebonite ball winner today and made top 10 back-to-back -to -back today, this weekend. Very good. Harley is what we call puring it right now, folks. Brad should... There we go. Handicap bowling their semifinal match right now is uh, two tall Texans going at it. Mateo Gonzalez and Stephen Dunn, winner to play top seed Mariano Garcia. That's the only, Harley fell off that one. That's the only thing that can go bad. It's just a uh, unusually bad shot, but a blasting 268 game. These are important shots for Brad. Okay. Brad, do not shoot that seven pin, Brad. I will be so mad at Brad if he shoots that seven pin. <laughs> Big thanks to the crew here at Isleta. Another busy day, packed house. A lot of fun. And instead he run at that. Why did he shoot that seven pin? I don't know. Why did he do that? All right. Okay, so Harley, you're in the catbird seat. Stay focused because you're going to be right back in action here in just a second. That leaves Brad and Bree in the roll off. Brad, you are the higher seed, so you right have the side. choice of what you want to do here. Right side. And going first. Brad's elected to go first on the right hand lane. Bree will follow him on the right hand lane. I think you know the drill by now, Bree. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Exactly my point here. He's starting on the lane he just finished on. Why not get another practice shot? Oh, okay. Oh. All right, well, let's see what he does. Oh, and he breaks up the 4 7 on the high hit for a strike. Bree must answer with the strike right here to stay alive, or it'll be a third place finish. Best two out of three roll offs. Brie has been absolutely clutch every time she's had to be for the last two hours. Will she be again? Will it lean on it? Oh, doesn't happen. The magic finally runs out for Brie as she'll finish up in third in a great job. And we are left with Brad and Harley going at it for the title. Brie will be right back, by the way, in the girls match, so. Hey, Adele. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Bell's been waiting in the wings for four hours for this match. Okay, Brad and Harley. Great job getting this far. So we're now going to do a best two out of three match for the title, but all of these matches are simply nerve wrackers. So if you could delete the score on letter A, make them do all the work. This is his penalty for not doing practice shots, and I told him to. And if you could also delete letter B from the screen entirely. Well, it doesn't really matter a whole lot, actually, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so if you could clean up those burgers, they've been there since 9 a.m. and sweep the approaches. There you go. All right, so Harley, you're the top seed, so in every two or three of these nerve wrackers, as many as we need, you have the option of what you want to do as far as lean and order. In this first nerve wracker, you heard the man, he'll be starting on the left lane, Brad, you'll follow him on the left hand lane. Two out of three of these one shot roll offs. Keeping in the spirit of the name of the format, double nerve wracker. Thanks to Craig Tuhalski for suggesting this little tweak. JBT events are marathons when you bowl all day long, but now we're down to a flat-out 10-yard sprint. 
to see who takes the title here. Will it be Harley's 12th or Brad's first? Brad has to match that strike to stay alive here in this first nerve wracker. Going down one nothing to Harley right now would be like losing the game to the Warriors right now. You just don't want to do that. Brad said he was on a mission way back in game two of this tournament. And that is going to make the mission a lot harder. Anything less than a strike didn't matter that it's the big four there. So Harley goes up one nothing in the first nerve racker. So we're going to start nerve racker number two now. If Harley wins, he wins the title. If Brad wins, we'll do a third and deciding nerve racker. Harley, you again have the options. How boring of you. Go ahead and reset 17 and off you go. Harley chastised him for being boring, but it's really completely unsurprising. <coughs> Worked the first time, why change a thing? Oh, and Harley dices him up on the light hit. That could have been the title winning strike. Brad must match it to stay alive. Six and a half hours of bowling comes down to a must strike shot right here. Just to get a chance at a extended play. That's a better shot. Oh! Are you kidding me? He almost left one earlier. He, he, a bunch of people left all the time. The 5, 7, and almost the 10 stands up. Regardless, it's not the strike, and Harley Swigert, of course. I'd rather you put the 10. I'd rather you put the 10 back up and shoot it at the, the real way and try and make it. My goodness, that's way to say. I'm gonna have you say that on camera again in just a second. Ah. Hey, a great effort from Brad to get all the way to the runner-up spot, but say that again. Caught back up to Nick and Russ. And that's right. Him and Nick and Russ are having a battle, and they are now dead even at 12 apiece, right? 12, 12, and 12 titles for three of our uh, big stars right now. Great stuff out of the scratch division. We'll do it again in Handicapped in just a minute.